Welcome to Reality Bites, your daily dose of news and current affairs. I'm Sophia, and let's dive right into today's interesting news. First up, we have some news from Twitter. The Twitter executive who was seen in a viral photo sleeping on the floor at headquarters as Elon Musk imposed his extremely hardcore work culture has been fired, according to reports. Esther Crawford, a holdover from the old regime who reportedly gained Musk's trust and elbowed her way into the reclusive mogul's tight inner circle, was given the boot over the weekend, according to the information. Sources told the tech news site that Crawford and several other product leaders learned they were fired after they were locked out of their company systems over the weekend. Crawford took to social media late Sunday and responded to the torrent of criticism from Twitter users who noted that she got the axe despite her loyalty to her new boss. The worst take you could have from watching me go all in on Twitter 2.0 is that my optimism or hard work was a mistake, Crawford tweeted. Those who jeer and mock are necessarily on the sidelines and not in the arena, she said, referencing a famous quote by Theodore Roosevelt. I'm deeply proud of the team for building through so much noise and chaos. Several Twitter users accused Crawford of being sycophantic, while others snarked that it was a real shocker that sleeping in the office wasn't enough. Crawford, who was entrusted to oversee the Twitter Blue subscription service, stood out because she was one of the few of Musk's trusted lieutenants who was not brought over from one of his other companies. Tesla, SpaceX, and the boring con Crawford was one of dozens of engineers, product managers, data scientists, and team heads who were let go, according to the tech-centered news site. At least 200 employees were laid off in the latest round of cuts, according to reports. Martine de Keeper, a senior product manager based in Holland, tweeted that he too learned of his dismissal when he was unable to log into his corporate computer system. Waking up to find I've been locked out of my email, looks like I'm let go, tweeted De Keeper, who founded the review newsletter platform, which was later bought by Twitter. Now my review journey is really over. Review was shut down by Twitter in January. That's it for today's. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more news and updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.